Okay, so this is a new control board I've built up um, with a couple of changes to it. The first being a 15 volt DC DC here for the IGBT drive, um, and the second being that it's got the new exper experimental code in the controller for measuring RPM. So what so what I have here is I have my serial cable set up going back to the PC that I have uh, that I have uh, um, uh, what's it called uh, hyper terminal that's it set up on and uh, we're injecting a signal into RB5 here via this little on K here, just for safety, it's coming from this signal gen, and I've uh, got the signal gen uh, coupled up to this frequency frequency uh, meter here. As we can see, we're at just over a hundred hertz. And if we go over to the PC, see our normal data stream here, and at the end. Um, we have uh, just over 3000 RPM which is what we'd be expecting so just been doing a couple of tests here if we were to go to if we were to go to 80 or go to 80 Hertz that should be, should be 2400 RPM so let's do that close as I can to it there. It's pretty good. And let's have a look and see we got twenty four forty eight. So that's quite uh, that's quite good. And if we go down to forty hertz uh, we should be looking at about twelve hundred RPM just for a couple of different data points here. Oops, a little bit too far up a little bit, that's close enough. And yeah we're at we're at about twelve hundred thirty, twelve hundred thirty seven RPM there. So that's looking good. Um, and if we were to go down to twenty hertz it should be around the six hundred RPM there. Right? A little bit more accurate than that, hopefully. It's not a Werner scale on this uh, SIG gen, so it's a little bit coarse. There's 20.38. And uh, interestingly enough, there we go. Uh, 600, 625, 626 RPM. Interesting to see if we could go down to 10 Hz, so I uh, don't know if I can do it with this. Well, I can do it with this Werner at the minute, yeah. Get to 10 hertz, uh, too low. There's 10.5, so I'll be close enough. And yeah, actually, we got about 320 RPM odd there, so that's pretty good. And if we went up to 200 hertz, then we would be at around 6000 RPM, which would be quite bad for a um, altar, but let's try it. Go up to 200 hertz. Actually, 150 hertz should be about 4,500. So let's see what we get there. It's close enough, I think. There we go. Almost 150 spot on. And you can see there we're about 100 RPM out. Only. Uh, 46.15 on there. Now we do one more. We'll take her up to the full 200 hertz. A little bit, a little bit less, a little bit less. As of 200.6, and yeah, we're about a uh, 6,153 there on that. So we're looking quite good. 
The only concern I did have was that the uh, if I change the duty cycle a bit, you know, it's at 50% duty at the minute. If we go onto the oscilloscope here, see we're at about 50% duty cycle. Be better if I turn off that light, might be able to uh, see the scope a little bit better. If I notice if I change my duty cycle, if I expand it a little bit like this. Uh, we're around 2580 RPM there now, so might have to make a little bit of hardware that cleans up the duty because the um, RPM sender that I have is probably not going to be 50%. But this is the first experiment, um, and so far I have to say it's looking very good. So uh, stay tuned for more.